Axis bans 10 banks and 348 investment funds over fossil fuel policies. Good. They're finally fighting back. These guys want to go full ESG? Fine. We're going to fight back. So Texas is banning 10 large banks and 348 investment funds for allegedly boycotting fossil fuel-based energy companies critical to the state's economy. A move critics say could cost taxpayers in low-star states hundreds of millions annually in higher interest costs. Yeah, you see, you see the spin right away? This is how they trap you. See, this is the same fucking tactic that Walmart uses that everyone calls it out when Walmart uses it. How uh, Walmart uh, enters a community. They sell things at rock bottom prices to, to drive all their competition out of business. And then once all their competition is gone, they start jacking up the price again. Yes, Texas is going to end up having to pay a lot more money in the short term. But if they don't do this, if they don't fight back against these social terrorists, they're going to lose everything in the long term. But but this is how these fuckers operate. They know most people can't say no to saving a few bucks. And ultimately, that's going to be your downfall if you fall for this. Now, the state's blacklist released August 24th uh, follows West Virginia's decision in July to ban five banks for the same reason. Such actions come as some Republican-led states are cracking down on corporate, social, and environmental policies the states perceive to be politically driven. Now, banks that Texas put on notice earlier this year went to great lengths to show that they are, in fact, investing tens of millions in the fossil fuel industry, but some uh, fa failed to convince the state. Texas and West Virginia have now banned BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, from doing business with the state. Oh, that's good. Oh, imagine, I will not know what happens if they already owned assets in the state, though. Yeah, Texas exclusion list of so called Annex One companies includes uh, well, a bunch of companies. Yeah, you can see the list if you care. The large pension funds, such as the teacher retirement system of Texas, will now be required to divest from companies and funds in the list, and uh, as will a multi billion dollar public school fund. Good. Don't, don't let them trick you. Like, it's like a fish falling for the fucking bait. Like, oh, look at this. I was just minding my own business, swimming along, and this nice juicy worm just happens to be floating right in front of my face. Well, I'd have to be a fool to pass this up. A vibrant Texas oil and gas industry is stabilizing force in today's uh, economic and geopolitical environment. Texas Comptroller Glenn Hagar said in a statement, My greatest concern is the false narrative that has been created by the environmental crusaders in Washington, D.C. and Wall Street that our economy can completely transition away from fossil fuels when, in fact, it will be part of our everyday life for the foreseeable future. The Texas crackdown uh, came on the heels of Florida's August 23rd decision to bar the state's $186 billion pension fund from exceeding uh, ESG factors and in investment decisions. Other Republican-led states are expected to follow suit. Now, now this, funny enough, the reason these ESG funds have so much money is because people they hate keep giving them money. If all like 30-ish red states decided to cut these fuckers off that that would hurt them a lot the loan costs soared hey, hey you know what guys use this as an opportunity to get your shit together try living your life with less debt now, some things are unavoidable like for example car payments mortgages but outside of those try to avoid debt uh, Steve Rothstein, Managing Director of a series uh, Accelerator for Sustainable Mar Capital Markets, said uh, such state efforts are escalating in part because of the groundswell of investors demanding change. For example, current year months one of head of the UN uh, Climate Change Conference in Glasgow, Scotland, investors managing $52 trillion in assets urge nations to phase out coal, and many institutional investors have pledged to gradually reduce their carbon footprints. And that's why they're starting to get banned everywhere. Because uh, the, these states rightly see that these, these rich fart sniffers are throwing their money around to get their way. And most of their money, oddly enough, comes from poor people like us. You know, it's our pension funds. It's our retirement funds. It's our 401ks that are being given to these fuckers. If we stop giving them our money, they will have nothing. So the market is speaking, and there are some states that want to put their thumb on the market, uh, Rostin said in an interview. No, no. You, you can't say the market is speaking when it's a few rich activist investors that are pushing it. Go fuck yourself with that shit. 
Now, Texas taxpayers, unfortunately, have a burden of hundreds of billions of dollars based on that decision. That is a small price to pay compared to how much they'll have to pay in the long run if they don't do this now. So a July study for the, uh, from the University of Pennsylvania's Warren School estimated that municipalities uh, and other public entities in Texas pay between 303 and uh, $532 million more in interest uh, on the $32 billion they borrowed during the first eight months of the uh, anti-ESG loss Texas enacted current year minus one took effect, and some large banks ceased uh, bond, uh, had to cease bond underwriting. Have you considered not taking out more debt? Is that even a fucking option anymore in current year? You realize you don't have to take out loans, like unless it's you have you fucking depend on it for your survival. No, now this this I, I will say it, it's our um it's a side effect of our centrally planned economy. Unless it is constantly and exponentially growing, it's basically gonna crash. So we, we no longer can we have companies and organizations that grow to a sustainable level and stay there. They always have to keep growing. They always have to have uh, record growth. It's not enough to reach sustainability. Now, you always got to have more and more and more and more until you fly too close to the sun and we know how that worked out for Icarus. 